Hey everyone. Uh, so this is a clip uh, that I'm recording now between episodes. Uh, basically the footage that I was looking at for the upcoming episode uh, didn't include uh, this crucial step. So I must have done this off stream. Uh, luckily I have a work in progress file from between those streams so I can walk you through basically the, the delta between where I was last episode and uh, where I'm about to be in the clip that I'm going to show you for this episode. So previously what you would have seen uh, right before the end of the last episode was uh, me laying down like these dots, right? Um, on every step, something like that on a, on a particular corner of each step. Then what I would have been doing was animating those. So across every frame, you know, tracking them down. Once I had that uh, sort of tracked series of dots going all the way, what I would do is copy over all of the frames for that thing, the whole thing, and paste it on another layer, right? Then take that adjusted layer and drag it down. What that leaves you with is basically a, a kind of zigzag template for this bottom edge here, but also the left edge of this sort of like kickboard, right, for each step. Now, I would have then gone on another layer and traced these ones down here. Okay, very tedious, but that's what I would have done. And animated these um, coming around. Now, obviously you only have to do that on this one edge because they don't exist on this edge. They're hidden, obscured by the staircase. So it's actually not that much work. But once you've got that uh, and you take that and copy that down, right? Now for each step, you have this kind of template for a rectangle that makes up uh, a kickboard, or I don't know what you really call it, the, the, the vertical edge of each step, right? Um, then you can fill that in, as I've done here, and what it leaves you with, once you animate that for every frame, is something that looks like this, right? And that's basically the animated staircase. To fill in the bottom, you basically just, I just like roughly, you know, filled in the underneath section. Um, doesn't really matter, because we have, remember, that static base that we created, that smooth um, ramp uh, in the previous episode. So then once you layer that on top, it makes a pretty close approximation of what the whole thing should look like in the end. So uh, that's what I did off stream between those two episodes. And now uh, on to the next episode. Enjoy. <laughs> All right. So you want to see this staircase? Of course you do. This is where we're at so far. I think it's coming along pretty, pretty well so far. It's not quite there yet, but I think the, the basis of it is right. So one of the issues is that the height of the steps changes, seems to change. On specific frames, if this is correct persp perspective wise, basically nothing can be as wide as this step on this frame. That's the widest any of the steps can be. What I'm trying to do right now is, if you look at, I want, I'm looking at this step in particular. Watch it as it goes down. It stretches out, this part here, as we go back, stretches and squeezes really fast. It's like, it like kind of like, the length of the step increases and then decreases very quickly. This step should be shorter. Certainly between these two frames. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. This frame here, both of these need to be further over. Oh, it's so close. I suppose we could just start uh, tearing this down. Man, that's a lot of frames just to get here. Three hours later. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba. 
two hours later. All right, uh, I'll delete this, save that, export this, so you guys can have a look-see. Display, select frames, yes please. Hey, put you on the foreground layer. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool thing I made. Will your game be on Steam? It will be. Now, let's make it go back the other way when we turn left. Let's make a script that makes it rotate to... I don't know how we're going to do this. What I want to happen... <laughs> noodles. What I want to happen is when I move forward, I want it to play one way. And when I move the other way, I want it to move the other way. But I want to only increment at the right times. You know what? I'll, I'll work this out. Let's, um, let's do a new script. We'll call this Rotating Stair Controller. You didn't think there was going to be programming on this stream, did you? Because I want it to, I don't want it to reset the animation in the opposite direction. I want it to decrement the animation. Oh, this feels good. I haven't coded in a while. Man. Coding. Okay. So what I want to do is um, base it on the player's input. So if, uh, let's do, so there's like, a couple things we want to do here. There's two There's two ways I could do this, right? There's two ways. The first way is we actually let Armin move left and, left and right, and we move the staircase around him. Oh, that's a good idea. I was going to do that, wasn't I? Because then I could just set the stairs to be his position on the x-axis. Let's do that. That's such a sneaky beaky way of doing this, but I'm gonna do it. Put Armin on a locked horizontal plane and keep the staircase locked to him. What this allows me to do is gives me a, a true progress bar for how far up the staircase he is. This way I can say, you know, uh, I, can, I can literally set the stair frame to Armin's X position, modulo the length of frames. So if you happen to move faster or slower, which you could do, I guess, when you skid, right? It would actually always be on the exact perfect frame. So I'm actually not like playing an animation. I'm just setting it to his horizontal position. That's one way to do it. And that way I actually don't need to care about any of this. I don't need to know what frame he's on or what Armin's doing, whether he's swinging his sword or anything like that. That's the better way, says Devious. Let's do it that way. Wait, so I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. It's all fine. Uh, what I have to do here is, I guess, make this a lot wider, this collider. See this collider? Make it wider. That's probably wide enough. We could go even further if we want. Because what's going to have to happen is, there is going to actually end up being a point where the stairs have to end on both sides. And I don't know what that is yet. So we're going to have to do, there's a few little like checkpoints where it's like, oh, okay, if you're this high, actually switch to this animation and play that frame on this animation. If you're this, if you're at this low, switch to this. You know, so we can see the bottom of the staircase come up and the top of the staircase come down. Your accent, are you Aussie? Yes. <laughs> Mate! Wow! What we've got here is a rotating staircase. Look at the size of it. Look at these beautiful steps curling around. A winding staircase. Crikey. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna go ahead, transform dot position dot x. No, equals new. Engine dot harmon dot transform dot position dot x. And then whatever. Mm. 
whatever that is. Kangaroo Jack is uh, is immortal. It's actually a title. Kangaroo Jack is a title, so whenever Kangaroo Jack dies, a new Kangaroo Jack steps up to take his place. Jackie Legs, that is. Time to reveal that you're actually an American. Look, Raimu, I've been trying to keep it a secret for a while now, and if you if you don't keep your mouth shut, people will figure it out. <laughs> so it's Armin's transform position. So like one, two, three, let's say like times 10, just, just for the sake of it. I don't know what's gonna happen when we do this. Have you made any games before this? Not ones you can play, unfortunately. <laughs> I have a better way of doing this. I don't seek to frame. I just say frame equals. And if it's not playing, it'll set it to that frame. Oh, yes. Yes. Pog champ. Pog champion. Pog champion. Wow. See, and you can jump as well. And you can sort of like slow it down and speed it up. And when you jump, the momentum carries. That's perfect. Oh, you can even roll up the stairs. Oh my God. Okay, that was perfect. It just works. We are making magic. Hey, C Jennings. Oh, that's so cool. Holy crap. Video games, guys. Lazy Guru, thank you so much for the cheer. Damn, that's good. People are gonna think I made this in 3D. Idiots. <laughs> Those fools. <laughs> the question is, does it really set it apart if it's indistinguishable from 3D? So this is the tower that he's in. And you start here in the scene and you end up here. There are three lights that are going to be revolving around as you go up. <laughs> Cryptoday. Cryptoday's like, this feels more like a game. You know? I'm like, yeah, okay. Thank you. That's when you know you've made it. <laughs> Success, boys. We can pack home. We can pack it up and go home. It's a game. Right? Let's think about how we would do this. If I halve it, animate this, right, forwards, and then animate this backwards. So animate this forwards, copy it, flip it, and then animate the same frames backwards. That that way I only have to animate like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's probably like, it's probably like 70 bricks. It's, it's, fine. it's fine. You could draw a temp diagonal guideline between the two windows to help. The placement I can do, you're right. I could do it like this, something like, something like that just depends on how much perspective we want i mean if we're gonna have this be on the line it's got to be like this damn no but hang on hang on hang on but they're not on the same they're not on the same perspective line so that actually could be a lot higher because they they go up right oh shit oh man that's tough Oh <laughs> no, because this, there's not another one. Wait a second. The staircase isn't this steep. That's the problem. Shit. Not that that even works. All right, fine. Put it back. I won't think about it. No, there's no enemies on it, on the stair sections. I played enough Dark Souls to know that doesn't work. Oh man, I did so much better on this, on this one. Look at how that perfectly that smooth like slows down. Just goes to show you how tech how much skill depends on methodology. Maybe with this Adam can become a full-time tower animator. Hey Kappa Joshi, how's it going? I'm having a great day. I guess it's not 20. It should be there. Oh wait, no, I changed it. it I changed it mid mid playback, so it is 20. Uh, the lights need to be 20. No, the light, the, the lights on the stairs need to be in sync, which they are at the moment. 
because you need to be able to follow. If you look at if you look at the the gap between a single light and an, and the stair below it, that should be one to one. <laughs> so, did you like the video? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I wanted to say uh, a really considerate and uh, heartfelt thank you to the patrons uh, of the stream and of uh, my YouTube channel. <clears throat> thank you to Joe Constant, to Jacob, Gerald, Jim Kulwicki, to Raimu, to Robin Fritz, Alex, Jaded Cat, and Jared Barboza. Uh, you guys help this train keep going, so uh, thank you mostly. For those of you who want to join that list of J names, <laughs> there's like what? two three names that don't start with J in that list. Uh, if you want to offset the balance and restore peace to the world, uh, join me on Patreon, become a patron. Uh, otherwise, come to Twitch and uh, subscribe. Links for that are all below. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you on the next video.